This is a very fancy truck that I'm sitting in with John Toomey. It's a very lovely truck and he's going to drive it over to the Australian International Three Day Event in Adelaide. And here he is, he's John Toomey. And not only is he happy because he's driving a lovely truck, but he's also happy because after last year he probably didn't expect to be at Adelaide this year. Mm. It was a pretty tough year, John. Tell us about what happened at Sydney last year. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was a bit of a, um, a life-altering event. We had a rotational fall at the bounce into the water at the World Cup at Syak in uh, May last year. And I woke up three days later in the ICU at Liverpool Hospital and wasn't really sure why I was there and what had happened. So um, I, I was probably lucky, it could have been a whole lot worse, but I had a lot of closed fractures in my face, um, a bit of a head injury, and my eye had sustained some damage, popped a collarbone, fractured a lot of ribs, popped my left lung, had a fracture in my pelvis, dislocated my right hip, and tore up my shoulder and my right knee um, pretty good. So it was a long, hard recovery, but I was adamant probably within three weeks of waking up, I was adamant that I was going back out there. And of course, the horse that you're riding this year isn't the horse that you were on then. Yes. Um, you're riding highly recommended in the four star this year. Tell us a little bit about him. Yeah, he's, um, he's such a cool jumper. We bought him as a five-year-old in New Zealand after he'd won the national young event horse at Taupo off the breeder, Sarah Millen, who's retained um, an ownership position in him so she can continue to follow him and she made the trip over to Equitana she was here for Equitana in the last week and she'll follow us to Adelaide um, so it's nice for her she loves following the progeny he's by Brilliant Invader and out of a distal fink mare called Diversity who's left a whole string of really cool horses and um, yeah he, he was very successful in New Zealand he in as a six-year-old he won the one and three day event uh, national titles at One Star. And then as a seven year old, he won the one and three day event national titles at two star level. And then he'd only just gone three star and he had a tendon injury that put him out for a year. And uh, then we had him back and flying at three star when we came over to Australia. And yeah, we've, we've had a really good campaign this year. It's been super. And you've mentioned New Zealand a few times there, and a lot of people think that you are from New Zealand, but you're not, are you? You're an Australian boy. Yeah, yeah, born and bred in Queensland and grew up just north of Brisbane, up near a little town called Kabulcha in um, Narangbar. And we went to New Zealand in 2001, and Caroline followed me down there, and we set up base there for 10 years. I wasn't riding when I went to New Zealand. I stopped riding in 1991 here in Australia. I had my advanced horse at the time broke down, and uh, my background civil construction. So I actually headed off to Malaysia and built a fun park after Soundtrack broke down. I sold all my gear and sort of quit. I was quite disheartened, and then yeah, started riding in 2003 again in New Zealand, and yeah, the rest has sort of gone from there. And so now it's over to Adelaide and uh, hopefully a very good result. So we'll catch up with you over there and see how you go maybe after the dressage and the other bits and we'll look forward to following you over in Adelaide. Absolutely. Thanks. Thanks.